In this film, you will meet Annie, who believed that she wasn't sexy, even though she admitted that her husband thought she was. The idea of not sexy plunged her into what she called an abyss of darkness. You will learn the turnaround technique that Tony uses by which you can overcome negative thoughts about yourself. Who just said it, but you don't really believe it? You don't believe you're sexy. You don't believe you're sexy. Oh, come on, there's got to be more than two people. This whole room thinks they're sexy. Okay, a couple more. A couple more. You, my dear? Okay, stand up. Give her a hand. Give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. Let her hear you, for God's sakes. What is your name, my dear? Ani. Ani? Oh, Ani, I'm sorry. Where are you from, Ani? Washington State. Give her a hand, Ani from Washington State, ladies and gentlemen. So, Ani, did you say I'm sexy out loud when we said it earlier? Yeah. You did? Did you say, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but you don't really believe it. I used to be. You used to be. Okay, now that's interesting belief. I'm not sexy, I used to, but I'm not now. Now, let me ask you a question. Is it really true that you're not sexy at all? I mean, could that be a misperception based on being tired or exhausted or life experiences? Could you be misperceiving yourself? Is it possible that you don't have all the information to know or even notice that there are people that think you're sexy and you're just missing it? Is it possible that you are sexy and just don't realize it? Is it true that you're absolutely not sexy at all? To everyone? Well, I'm sexy to my husband. Oh my God, she's sexy to her husband! Oh my God! Oh my God! We got a breakthrough! I'm sexy to my husband! So here's my question. Is it true that you're not sexy? Is it possible that it's a misperception, misrepresentation to your own self? Do you really have all the information to know what everybody believes about you? Is it possible that it's not true that you're not sexy? Is that possible? It's possible. Yeah. It's a breakthrough, ladies and gentlemen. Give her a hand. Now, by the way, when she said, my husband thinks that's sexy, there was already a breakthrough. I just wanted to expand it. Now, by the way, you go, well, that's not enough. You're right. It's only the first step. But without this first step, there's no progress. Raise your hand if you see this. All right, this is the moment where there's an opening. So what's the second question? Tell me, what do you feel? What do you experience? What do you think about yourself or life when you feel like you're not sexy at all? Well, what do you believe? What do you feel? What do you experience when you think you're not sexy? I look in the mirror and I see the big black eyes and the gray hair and the lack of sleep. Where's the gray hair? Show me these gray hairs. It's in there. It's all right here. <laughs> One gray hair. And some people think gray hair is sexy. Who thinks gray hair is sexy? It's like, yeah. So you look in the mirror and you notice there's a few gray hairs that some people think are sexy, but you forget that or don't even know it. And I've gained about 40 pounds after two kids. I've gained 40 pounds after two kids. Now, by the way, what do people think is sexy in this world? Uh, well, when I was a size four, I was pretty freaking sexy. Oh, I see. Have you ever been on the internet? <laughs> Wait, wait, shh. <laughs> Have you ever been on the internet? Yes, I know the Kardashians, they're Armenian too, so am I, but hey, come on, that's a big butt. So, big butts are some people's ultimate fantasy. In fact, tell me, on the internet, ladies, it's different for men, ladies, is there a shape for every man, yes or no? Some men like big boobs, some like small boobs, some like no boobs. Some have little butts, some like big butts. Some people are like round, some like, like flat. Some like multiple sets of all the above, some like half of one. 
Is there something for everyone that's attractive? Yes or no? Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes or no from you? Yes. Yes. So how do you feel when you tell yourself this story that you're not sexy because you've gained some weight and you have a gray hair somewhere on your head? <laughs> and some people love more round. In fact, if I said, what does an attractive woman look like to all of you in this room? There's silence, because no man here is stupid enough to give the answer to this question. <laughs> Except the man I heard say my wife. Good move, sir, I heard that, very good, right? But the truth is, if you went by cultural conditionings and you live by cultural conditioning, then it's someone who looks like they've been on heroin for years, a model, who has no, not an ounce of fat on their body. But if I asked you 100 years ago what a beautiful woman like, like would the shape be much more what she thinks is unattractive, yes or no? Yes. In fact, voluptuous, round, for most of human culture has been considered the ideal, right? Larger hips unconsciously meant the person were more likely genetically for us to succeed in having children, more likely to be fertile. So it's only cultural conditioning. In fact, how many of you were around somebody, no attraction to them whatsoever? And then one day, something weird happened. <laughs> you're both doing something, it was really cool at work or something, and you're peak states see each other, peak states see each other, peak states see each other. One day you look at them and go, oh, where's that feeling coming from? Who's ever been attracted to someone who you were not attracted to at all in the beginning? It wasn't your type at all, say I. <laughs> because what we find attractive is conditioned. By the way, I don't know about you, but I fall in love and fell in love with someone and they weren't my type at all. But when you love someone, suddenly it all changes, doesn't it? Which is why she still believes her husband finds her attractive, because he loves her, so of course he does. But other people do too, she just doesn't allow it to see it because she has these preconserved rules, legs, based on cultural conditioning, it has nothing to do with the truth. And then what that does, it makes her feel shitty. Is that a fair description? But that, that's actually nicer. That's nicer. What would you say? What does it really make you feel like when you believe that you're not sexy? What do you really feel? Like I'm falling in a deep abyss. Falling in a deep abyss of what? Darkness. A deep abyss of dark. Is that how you want to feel? No, but I do. I, but is that how you want to feel? No. Then let me ask you a question, third question. What if you never had the thought that you weren't sexy? What if that thought didn't even exist? How would you feel if you never had that thought? You never had preconditions on what sexy was at all. If you never had the thought, I'm not sexy, what would you feel if you never had that thought? What would you experience? How would you live? What would you enjoy? What would be different if you'd never had that thought ever? How would you feel if you'd never had the thought, I'm not sexy? I'd probably dress better and take time to take care of myself. And how would that make you feel? Really amazing. Let's not do that. <laughs> Tony teases Annie about the negative thoughts that, in her words, put her into an abyss of darkness. And it's just thoughts. The reality is that her husband, the most important man in her life, finds her sexy. But Annie's thoughts about her looks result in a vicious cycle by which she doesn't take care of her looks and her body and then feels even more unattractive. By the way, when you feel amazing, how do you act? How do you behave? What do you like? I have a lot of love to give. I'm yes. able to do more. Yes. And People tell me that it's infectious when I'm happy, then they're happy too. How does that make you feel when you know you bring all that knowledge to yourself but people you care about? How does that make you feel when they're so happy because you're so happy? Amazing. Amazing. And by the way, is that sexy? I, I think so. It's sexy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh my God. So let me see if I understand this. Are you sexy? <laughs> if you're able to look out for yourself even a little bit, take care of yourself, and find some joy in the moment, 
Are you able to transfer that to other humans just by your beingness? Yeah. Are you sexy? Come on. <laughs> That's not the technique. <laughs> Getting a little desperate. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, yeah. Possibly she's sexy, ladies and gentlemen. So watch this. So now we do the turnaround. The turnaround is the opposite of what you used to say. This can't be done. So what's the turnaround? This must be done. This will be done. But you don't just make the new statement, you find three new what? Right. References. So tell me three ways you know you're sexy if you just focus on it. What's one of the three ways that let you know you're sexy? This question by Tony is what he calls the turnaround of a bad thought. After Annie admitted that when she's happy, people around her are happy too, and admitted that when she brings joy to others, she's sexy, Tony asks her for three ways that she knows she's sexy. My husband still likes me. <laughs> Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. She feels that. True. By the way, look at that face. By the way, how many feel that energy out of her smile? Make some noise if you feel it. How many think that smile is sexy? Let me make a little noise if you do. Okay, that's one way. Tell me another way you know you're sexy. I believe I have a wonderful heart, and when I feel great, then I'm able to, to do more for other people, and that makes them feel awesome. So that, to me, is sexy. Give her a hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> By the way, just for a moment, look around and see whether or not you've transferred that energy while you've been standing today. You see people's faces, what do you see? Just by your own recognition of your sexiness, you've liberated some people in this room to feel that aliveness. How many feel even more of it in yourself right now as she's done this? Tell me a third reason why you know you're sexy. I can still put on a pair of heels and walk down the street and get a whistle. <laughs> Give her a hug! Give it up! Give it up! There you go! Oh, look at that! Could we create a monster with that hair? Yes! <laughs> so, are you sexy? Fuck yeah! It's true. Now, do you realize in your own company, by just teaching people to ask the new questions, you won't just affect their business life. You do this enough times, your brain will start to do it unconsciously you'll start to destroy the limiting things about yourself that get in the way. How many think this might be fun to do with yourself or someone you love? And by the way, it frees you. Look at the freedom she has right now that she deserves. Give her another big hand for honesty and kindness. Annie now has three beliefs that are the proof that she is a sexy woman. And in front of several thousand people at the event, she struts swinging her hips and her hair, pretending she's wearing imaginary high heels. <laughs>